Color, where, where else are you seeing in, in terms of like a pain point, a pressure point, or like, why do people care about vulnerability management now? Like what's, what's actually kicking them in the neck? <laughs> like, <laughs> why are they buying? <laughs> It's become the number one way attackers gain entry. So phishing kind of peaked over vulnerabilities a little bit, but now what we're seeing is attackers are scanning companies. It's really, you know, easy to sit and cheat to sit there and scan companies and look for the ones that you know you can break into. So that's, I think, why it's coming to the forefront. I think there's an understanding of the way we're remediating is not working. So I think that's another another key reason why it's coming up. But if you think about it, like there's a limited, there's a lot of things the attackers can do. Like you said, you know, with lateral movement, privilege escalation, like what are their goals? You know, different types of threat actors have different goals, different objectives. But like there's a limited number of ways they get in. Like and vulnerabilities is one of the key ways they're going to get in, no matter what software you're using or what protections you have. Like it's, it's kind of the main thing that they're going to do. There's other ways, you know, inside a threat, phishing emails. But this is this is something that actually you could really make a big difference on with a good patching cadence. 